This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump son sell access to first family for $1 million a pop. By Edmund Dober. Donald Trump's adult sons are selling access to the president-elect and his family for the day after his inauguration for up to $1 million per person. A Texas-based nonprofit, called the Opening Day Foundation, managed by Trump sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, is already selling access to Trump for the day after his official inauguration via a charitable fundraiser. The Trump family are set to gain from lucrative connections and business opportunities that are bound to come their way through their newfound status as the first family. Trump supporters had hoped that the soon-to-be president would stand up for the little guy. The fundraiser will see multimillionaires and billionaires donating up to $1 million ahead for the opportunity of having their photos taken with the Trumps and joining them on private hunting trips. True Activist Reports The fundraiser, set to benefit unnamed conservation charities, was marketed as your opportunity to play a significant role as our family commemorates the inauguration of our father, friend, and President Donald J. Trump according to promotional materials obtained by TMZ. The event offers six sponsorship levels ranging from $25,000 to $1 million. The highest level, titled The Bald Eagle, offers a private reception and photo shoot with the newly minted president, four autographed guitars from Toby Keith and the band Alabama, and a multi-day hunting or fishing trips with Trump's sons and their confidants. Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump are known for their enthusiasm for long-standing American pastimes of hunting and fishing, though they also have had more than one foray into big game hunting. In a May interview with The New Yorker, Donald Trump Jr. alluded to his affinity for the outdoors and his defense of keeping public land in the hands of the people, a controversial issue among outdoorsmen. Though some liberal media outlets have doubted whether the fundraiser will really benefit conservation causes or not, they fail to recognize the possibility that Trump's sons are not carbon copies of their father. However, the issue here is not whether or not the fundraiser will actually benefit conservation efforts, but is instead the precedent the fundraiser sets for a pay-to-play setup in the upcoming Trump administration. The term pay-to-play was largely associated with Democrats during the past election as Hillary Clinton's shady dealings via the Clinton Foundation showed that her family's charity was little more than a slush fund used to collect money from those who wanted access. Trump criticized the arrangement on more than one occasion on the campaign trail, but it seems that this may be yet another one of his flip-flops since winning the electoral contest last month. Considering the enormous wealth of his cabinet picks, nearly $14 billion in combined net worth, and the lofty sums required for personal access to Trump and his kin, it is becoming more and more likely that the next administration will be less about draining the swamp and more about expanding the family's business empire and influence. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.